what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Untamed Outdoorsman. Today it is currently 4.17 in the morning. Pitch black, no sign of light yet. Um, I'm the only one on the boat ramp right now. Um, I'm hoping to get an early start today. Um, we're going to be fishing a pretty unique bait um, to start the day out. I just wanted to get a head start. You guys haven't seen fishing content from us in a little while. So definitely I think this is the one's worth making. Um, but yeah, we're going to get out there right now. We can hopefully get an early start before anybody gets here. And we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so we're out on the water now. Um, I literally cannot see more than three feet in front of me. So this is going to be something I'm pretty much exclusively looking on this right here. This is literally the only way I'm getting my navigation right now. I cannot see anything in front of me. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a little sketch for a couple minutes here. Um, just as I figure out how to even navigate. I don't know why the wind is blowing when it's at zero mile an hour winds all morning. Also, I'm trying the head mount today, so. All right, I can finally see a little bit. I'm just a step in the right direction. Oh my God, dude, the gnats are so bad. I don't think they're mosquitoes, they're just gnats. All right, guys, you probably can't see it, but the sun is starting to come out just a tiny bit to the point where I can see okay. Um, I turned off all my lights because the amount of gnats that were in this boat right now were ridiculous. So I'm just going to give it a couple minutes. There's nobody else in the water, so I'm not too concerned. Um, but I'm fishing my Western Lures Freddy the Frog right now on my Shimano Corrado K with Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. Um, I'll show you better when it gets brighter out. I'm just kind of working this slow. It's technically a wake bait, so you got to just work it really slow. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see this. There we go. That's number one. Number one. Number one, number one, number one. I can't see where the hook is. There it is. Oh, I got a good feeling about today. I have a good feeling. You guys definitely cannot see that, but that's the first fish on the board. He's probably about half pound. Alright guys, now that it's finally bright enough, we're on the water now. I caught one fish about a half hour ago. I um, caught it on the Senko, surprisingly. And today, we're going to be fishing this Weston Bates Freddy the Frog lure. So, this thing is definitely pretty interesting. It has, it's, it's huge, first off, but it's got these jointed legs that are really cool. It's got this giant hook going out the back and then a treble out the front. It's got a bill. This thing is pretty cool. Um, there's a lot to it. It's not, definitely on the more expensive side for baits, but it is really, really cool. Um, it is floating, thankfully, so if you lose it, you can go get it. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what, what we can do. It's definitely a pretty crazy looking bait. I mean, just look at it. I mean, I'm going to drag it across right now, but doesn't give the most like aggressive action on the water, but it's enough to trigger strikes. So we'll see what we can do here. Very calm conditions. Today is August 21st. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so far, I've had pretty good good success over the summer. You guys haven't seen a fishing video from us in a week or in a couple weeks, so we apologize for that. Hopefully, we'll be back. And this is also my first video with the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro uh, fishing crate, the 16 by 16 that you saw in the last video. I'll leave that up top and I'll leave a link to the Freddy the Frog review that we did about uh, seven or eight months ago up in the top as well. If you guys are interested in that, definitely go take a look. A really, really unique body. So we'll see what we can do here. I'm gonna try and use this more than the Senko. Um, if I end up switching the Senko from time to time, bear with me. Um, but this is gonna, this is gonna be the main focus of today's video, I think. It's just fishing this thing. Um, this thing is really, really cool. So, and I'm also I'm fishing it on the Shimano Corrado K 200 in the 8.5 to 1 gear ratio, and I'm fishing it with the Flares Frog and Flippin' Stick. This is this was a limited edition. They don't make it anymore. Um, 7.3 extra heavy, uh, fast action, or moderate action, fast action tip. Give it a shot and see what we can do. Here we go. 
There we go. Oh, that's a smolly. Nice! Nice smolly. That's a big smolly, too. Or no, is that a brown bass? No, that's a smolly. That's a. F no, I don't even know what that is. That looks like a brown bass. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, man. Good fish. What a good fish. Nice. That, that looks like a brown bass. Is this going to be the spot? Alright, GoPro, take a look at that guy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's see if there's anything over here like you used to. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe. That might not be a good one. What even is this? Are we sure this is? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a pound and a half, two pounder. Or, uh, that's probably about a pound, but... Still a decent fish. Here we go, probably about a pound. Good fish. All right, we're gonna whip out the Freddy the Frog again. Let's see what can be done with this guy. I mean, come on, you really can't beat the Senko. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. I mean, that was the second it hit the ground. Good fish, about a pound. There's a big one around here, I know it. There's a better one, I know it. I know it, I know they're out there. I know they're out there, that thing was like a quarter pounder. Better. How many more fish are over there, man? Probably the best one of the day so far. Yeah, that one, that's a good one. Here we go, pound and a half. Probably a pound and a half. Oh, damn it, he jumped and swiped at it. it Seems like that Weston Bates for the frog has kind of turned out to be a little bit of a dud. Maybe in different environments it would work, maybe down south it might work better, but up north in August, um, I only had one fish swipe at it all morning, so not really, not a great bait for up here. 
when you're fishing top water you, in the north you got to go either small or noisy and that's just a really large top water bait and I just I think a lot of fish are just turned off by it because it's so large um, but it is a really cool bait I would definitely recommend it if you're down south and there's or you're in a pond that's known for bigger fish I think I'd recommend it for that but anything else um, I can't recommend it um, it is a little pricey I think it's right around 30 bucks all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video uh, we hope you enjoyed um, super early morning conditions in today's video. Uh, it was definitely a pretty interesting video to me. It was a little sketchy being out that early in the morning, but it was definitely a little pretty fun. The next video you're going to see the next day recording. It was super complicated that day. It was pretty interesting making that video as well, so you'll see that soon. Um, but we hope you enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. See you later.